Do locations even matter in Into the Inklands? That's definitely been a valid question on a lot of players' minds ever since the set dropped. They were held up to be some really powerful new card type that would sit on the board, give you, the player, extra lore, and some much needed benefits. But in practice, they've largely tripped at the starting line and struggled to gain any momentum. Thank you to Lucy in my Discord channel, linked down below as always, who shared this decklist with me. Today, we're playing an Emerald and Ruby Locations Matter deck. First, I should say, the link Lucy provided me takes me to a username of Natman. Now, I don't know if Natman is another person or if it's actually Lucy, so I'll let you all tell me about it in the comments below. This deck plays a handful of characters who care about locations, such as Zazu, Steward of the Pride Lands, Hey Hey, Accidental Explorer, and Peter Pan, Lost Boy Leader. They each provide some kind of boon or gain some kind of ability with the locations being present. Outside of them, we're also playing some of my favorite style of characters, Banishers. Helga Sinclair, Vengeful Partner, banishes whatever character banishes her. Prince Eric, Expert Helmsman, banishes anyone when he's banished. And Milo Thatch, King of Atlantis, can do a total one-sided board wipe when he's banished. And of course, there's the locations themselves. We want something that can come down early, so we're playing Deville Manor, Cruella's Estate, something more mid-game, and that's Agrabah Marketplace. And finally, something with a bit of power to it, and Fang River City is just the place to make a stand. We mainly care to have locations, so it's more of a bonus that they're cheap, and two of the three net us two lore a turn. There's a few cards in this deck, after playing it, that I would gladly remove, but you'll get to see which in these games. For now, let's set sail and explore some new locations. Mm hmm. Okay, Emerald Amber. Going first! Emerald Amber, it makes me think very aggro. Or, or... Since technically this is coming, since I'm recording this before yesterday's video came out, there is a possibility that it's uh, something a little bit more sinister. Oh, uh, let's try it. Could it be a stitch? Could be a stitch. Wow, this is a kind of an expensive hand that I'd <laughs> would rather not see. All right, Peter, you're just a little expensive. I would have liked little Milo Thatch. That would have been great. A dock, a Pluto, okay. Let's see, opponent's likely not going to have songs. Let's actually get rid of that. And let's go for something that can take out my opponent's stuff. And then, yeah, he's got a thing. He's got a thing on him, but against this particular deck, it's not a big thing. Ink, and then play something else. Looking for a song, you're not gonna find it. Yeah, this is a Locations Matters deck, my friend. I know, it's kind of weird to say. <laughs> Especially because we don't have any locations in play. We're gonna get there. This Fang seems really nice. The ward and the evasive sounds... It seems like it's gonna be cool. I'm excited to get a chance to try it out. Come on. There's literally nothing else you can do this turn. Please pass your turn. <laughs> Thank you. Didn't know if you knew how to do it or not. Fantastic card, but I need to make. All right, passing the turn. Is this only once per turn? Yes, it is only once per turn. I would love to be able to just attack their lore. Just oh, I have eight ink. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> take eight lore from you. Just another card I can attack. You know, there's not that many uninkables in this deck. <laughs> Which makes this feel a little awkward. I think I need to favor having characters down. Now to gain them two lore. Because it's blue. But hey, that's two characters that a hey hey 
has defeated without Hei Hei dying. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. I mean, opponent's almost out of cards at this point. Locations are fun, but the characters are just better. Oh, let's see. Yeah, let's just take out as much stuff as we can. Opponent's down to one card in hand, and they're about to have basically no board. Let me guess, though. They're going to be able to shift Rockstar, and then for free with Pluto, get another card down. And all of a sudden, they've gone kind of wide again. No, this doesn't just do three damage. It only does three damage to something that already has damage. Oof. Wow, seriously, there's, there is 13 uninkable cards in the entirety of the deck. I've seen half of them in the first 12 cards of my deck. That's pretty <laughs> wild if you ask me. I think I'll just ink this. I could have Hey Hey sing it. He's not doing a whole lot else, is he? Let's get rid of you. Thank you. So the same thing just kind of happened, right? Alright, so the cool thing with Hydra here, whenever this character is dealt damage, I get to deal that much damage to a chosen character. So if Hydra gets the chance to attack a Stitch, that's an additional two damage I get to do to something else because Stitch has to attack. Opponent's only on plus nine right now. Everything I has quest for two or more. Okay. Well, let's see. At best, they go to 17. So I go to 16. They go to 17. 18, 19. One of these shifts, right? 18, 19. So it gets them up to 19. Do I even need to attack? Not sure I do. I think Milo pretty much guarantees the win here, doesn't he? Do I need to take out a Pluto? Just in case, maybe I will take one out and then I'll quest with all my other characters. I perhaps am missing something here, but I can't think of what that would be. Okay, so that's one less thing that they're going to get from this. Okay, Perdita doesn't do anything, so that's game over. Yeah, quest with everything and you lose. That's kind of silly, wasn't it? Okay, well, Prince Eric and Milo Thatch. Good try, opponent. Good try. A mere match. Hmm. Let's try to do locations this time. Oh, I got the Milos. That's nice. I do have a location. Let's just send Prince Eric back. He's just uninkable and awkward. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I kind of like it. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we're playing against another locations deck, I see. 
It's a mirror match. What are the odds of that? Seems kind of low if you ask me. Yeah, I'll probably play Hey Hey. Take out, start taking out my opponent's location. If they in fact are a locations deck, then the locations matter. I don't know, every card they've uh, gone through so far is in this deck. Now, this deck, I probably said it during the little deck intro. This deck was introduced to me by somebody in my Discord named Lucy. So thank you, Lucy. But, <laughs> that's the end of it. I don't know anything else about the origins of this deck. Somebody named M Natman. And as far as I know, Lucy's name on there is Natman, so I, I genuinely have no idea if, uh, you know, anything about this. Or I can get two one-drops down, and then they can take out the location. Let's do that. I'm starting to think that there is somebody named Natman who's not Lucy. <laughs> and that uh, this deck has been shared somewhere else. I'm sure it has. I've, I'd play other YouTubers decks. They're fun. It's fun to get out there and try different things that I wouldn't normally try myself. Which is crazy for me to say because I try everything. A new deck just about every single day. Agraba. Definitely the one I want to take down, isn't it? Let's do that. Oh, I can immediately take out the mana right now, or I can... Attack the Agrabah. Zazu's gonna die though. If that's the case, let's make him worth something. And then Milo and Hey Hey could take down Agrabah next turn. And if I don't get stuck on this stinking uninkable thing again. There's 13 in the deck! <laughs> How is this happening? What do you got, opponent? I know what you got. I'm <laughs> just curious what you drew. I just need to draw an inkable. Come on, deck, we can do it. Just one inkable. <laughs> I knew you could do it, Deck. You're so good at what you do. And since that's the case, since they left my two characters fine and dandy, let's get rid of this. And then I'll quest with Milo and just start taking a big lead. Yes, Ursula will be able to take out Zazu and they'll get a draw card, but... Then they'll lose Ursula. Milo Thatch. Glad to have ya. Oh, Aladdin. Aladdin's not in my deck. Neither is Jim Hawkins. Alright, well the legacy does survive. Because of that attack. Another Zazu. Hmm. Let's get a Prince Eric down. Do I attack? Take out the legacy. What are they gaining here? Two, four. 
five a turn? What am I gaining? Seven? Four this turn. I think I'm just kind of in the lead here. I'm the aggressor for sure. For the moment. Depends on what they top deck here. Alright, nothing to snag for me. So they could shoot their Ursula at my Hey Hey and draw a card. They're gonna do it. They're trading Ursula for card draw. Okay. Question is, will we get the trade of the Jim Hawkins? No, they're gonna try to race with it. Let's see, another Prince Eric, probably. What's my opponent on? They're on plus seven, takes them to 15. Yeah, I think we're just the aggressor here. Pretty straightforward, and I got a Prince Eric to win the game now. Yep, that's it, easy. Mirror match again. Not very great for content, but I'm honestly, I'm, I'm just out of time. I need, a, I need another game. <laughs> Uh, hmm. They're too expensive. Really don't know what these are doing in here. They, the locations are cheap. I don't know why I need to boost my attack and get a free move. Alright, well, I got these Milos, but I failed to hit the good Milo. Also, I don't know if I like pack tactics in this deck. Again, not my deck. I didn't build it. But I think, uh... <laughs> starting to think uh, Pack Tactics and I Will Find My Way are two cards that just do not need to be in here. I've yet to come across a situation where either of those are good. I don't even know how to make Pack Tactics good in this deck. Like, what's the point of me attacking each of their characters, hoping to not kill them? Wasting my quest potential just so I can gain one off of all of them and so many of my guys quest for two anyway Like I don't get it. I just don't get it Now for the call Chantress gets the plus one it is attacked while being challenged. Yep. If anything, I'd rather have the Enchantress in this deck over the, uh, you will, you will find my way or I will find my way, whatever it's called. There we go, found the Milo. Ursula gone. Opponents going evasive. Alright, I don't really have a way to battle that except somehow getting my Prince Eric banished. Which I could totally get them banished by attacking the Enchantress. Or I can just bounce their side of the board. I won't be able to just get a damage on you, will I? I think I need to play Prince Eric. Because it could take out the Enchantress and take out the Tinkerbell. Or is the race better? Either way, I'm spending all four, so I'm not moving Hey Hey. What do I got right now? So I could gain another 4, go to 9. I think I like that better. Let's just be the aggressor. And now they can't reasonably attack my characters without losing their own. And if you take out my Milo Thatch... Well, it's gotta be banished. So bouncing takes care of it. A lot of evasives. Not exactly the mirror match here. 
They're considering attacking Agrabah. Okay. That's fine with me because that's not that's that's time you're not questing. <laughs> oh, another hey hey. Well, I think either way we're putting one away. We're setting up the Prince Eric to take out the Enchantress and something else. We're gonna move Hey Hey to Agrabah to take a lore from them. Quest and quest. All right, just between Milo and Prince Eric, I have lethal. All right, opponent managed to go wide, but they didn't go. They weren't aggressive enough on the lore. Had they quested. They would have been at 11 right now, trying to gain plus 8. So they just need to find a way to get one more. Alright, that bounces their whole board, so they should have quested first. Whoops! <laughs> should have quested first, my friend. Now you're in real trouble. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a concession here. No concession, but basically a concession. And that's game. Don't mess with Milo, man. 